Welcome to Crazy Sounds, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm Mike, the explosive one. Start the timer. Ba ding. 10 minutes or less. Dude, so you know how, you know, we had the, we had that COVID thing that happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, no, like, I haven't heard about this. Yeah, what right? was that? I mean, it's been over for a long time, right? Yeah. Um, so I guess, Jeez. you know, certain areas had a lot more different restrictions and whatever. I didn't realize this, oh, but I saw a story oh, man. that says a, an event in July, on July 7th in Japan, it says, yep. announces fans will be allowed to cheer. Yep. So I guess all through pandemic, even currently, because it's not July 7th yet. You could attend events in Japan, but you were not allowed to cheer or clap. You could go wear your mask and sit quietly and watch. And I guess, like, could you imagine going to like a basketball game, a wrestling show, a concert, and you just had to, you just you just had to sit there quietly? Yeah, yeah. You couldn't you couldn't do anything. You just had to sit there and watch. How yeah. weird would that be for the performers? Nuts. They hit they hit a big three to win the game, and you're just ever. It's just like. You could hear him. You have to her. hold it in. You got to hold it in, or you'll be escorted out. Yeah, I was like, I mean, and well, it makes sense, I guess, because like when you're yelling and you're, yeah, yeah, obviously. But, but I was like, that's so weird. I didn't realize that was going on. Like, it's, it's, it seems to me at that point, just like ban the events from happening. But I but guess, I guess it, it still it, allows the them to get, make money yeah, yeah. And, and prosper. Because if not, you're because look how long we shut down events in America. Yeah, like yeah. you know if but. Americans would be like, I'm still cheering. F that. Half the crowd would get escorted out. We're not respectful. <laughs> Japan seems to have a culture of respect. We don't obey. And we definitely don't. You know, man, the world is very strange in where you go, man. Like, that that's a common type of, like, scene in, like, some of the North Korean videos I've seen of, like, uh, people going to, like, Kim jong un events. Yeah, mouth, mouth shut, head down. Yeah, and just like, oh. Or, like, did you ever see the one where they're, like, watching a K-pop performance? It's like they're watching like K-pop girls like dancing all happy and panda bears jumping across the screens and and everybody in the North Korean audience is just like looking at them like they're just staring at it with dead eyes. Yeah, and they're all like dressed like it's the 1940s. But uh apparently in China for some of their COVID restrictions, they actually put bars on people's doors, apartment buildings, like so you could not leave the house. Yeah, I heard yeah, yeah. I saw that like some of those areas when they recently had some it was like they shut down a city bigger than New York. Like yeah. shut down. Like shut down. do not you cannot come out of your house. Yeah, there was uh there was even one story of a couple that went on a date when COVID had first started and they had gotten to the point where they had been they got stuck together. Because they couldn't leave uh, wherever they were. I don't know if they were in a restaurant or if they were in a home or whatever. But they ended up uh, they ended up getting to the point where they're like they're gonna get married. Oh wow! They spent so much time together. Yeah, dude, that sounds like my own personal hell. <laughs> being on a Tinder date and being stuck. With oh my lord! <laughs> and being like, oh, I guess we're stuck for the next two months here together. Bruh. With as much luck as I've had meeting people off dating sites, that Bruh. would be of my own personal hell. You know what, though, Jonas? If you're going to get to know a person, that is, God dang, dang it, that's the way to do it. If that's you can the... stay with them for two months straight and not want to strangle them, then you're like, oh, you're probably all right. Exactly. And, yeah. like, the relationship is still fresh and, like, okay, with me, Jonas, the first date, I don't know what it is, Jonas, but it, I'm never going to be able to express myself in that first date. It's never going to be able to what? It's never going to be like a true representation of who I am. Okay. It's almost like it's like a it's like you have to like put that slice of life perfect piece of yourself out there and display that and be like this is who I am. And it's always a lie. Maybe that's why I'm not very successful cuz I just show up and I'm me, dude. Like you either like me or you don't. <laughs> I mean, that's what people intend to do. Like, you're all everybody's on their best behavior when they're around new people. That, well, that's true. I mean, even, even, yeah, I've even put that into like your work self and your home self. Like yeah. at work, like you're you're yourself, but you're not yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get it. I get what you mean. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'm myself, but maybe I'm like myself at like a seven. Uh, yeah, because I, I've seen you when you're comfortable. <laughs> and you're just in the living room singing country songs to yourself. Yeah, dude. That you've made up in your own head. Yeah, dude. All right? Like, I've seen this. I mean, and I'm right. sure that you're not going on your dates or to job interviews and just, like, sitting in the chair singing country songs about penises. 
<laughs> your date and or the person interviewing you. So I mean, hey, dude, whatever comes to mind. I mean, if you do, that's fine, dude. I'm I have an interview judge. coming up. Maybe I should just sing all my answers. You know, this one time I went to the thing and I did this thing with him. He asked me to go when I didn't do it, and I got really mad at him. But then I thought, and I proed it down. You know, whatever, no, this dude. Is, this is really riveting. Inter- no, it's fine. And it's like, I'm, I'm the same way. Like, there's things that I do that yeah. I would definitely not do on yeah, a date. Yeah, yeah, exa- exactly. But I, I just feel like it's harder for me to get my personality across in that situation. So I agree. A, a two-month, like, lockdown date right. may be what I need to do. Maybe I just need to start kidnapping my dates. <laughs> wow. Just, that that went to a dark place. Just spitting spitballing some some ideas. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I could um I could uh I could say that if I went on a date with someone and I gave my natural normal self a full go, I don't know how many people would be able to stand me for long enough for me to consider myself a worthy, dateable person. I'm talking really slow and rambling because TNT had to go get the pizza. At the door. So <laughs> I'm just putting that out. I, 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 it's behind the scenes. Yeah, but, and you're making a good point, man. It's like, how can you really get your information out there? We need to start making dates go three days. Oh, my God. What three day bad, dates. dude. Three day dates, Jonas. From now on. There was the girl with the small arm that lied about who she was. You should have dated that girl. I, should I would date. love to date a three-arm girl <laughs> or a one-arm girl or a small-arm girl. She was Two-arm girls, I'm over. She was interesting. <laughs> I don't know where the hell you find me, the women you find, honestly. Man! You find some ones that I'm like, wow, I could do something with that. She seems like she has low enough self. So <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jesus. I didn't mean that like that. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, maybe I just attract a certain sort of bird. Dude. And I attract a certain sort of bird too, Jonas, and I don't like them. Why? I don't know, Jonas. I'm sick of the girls that I like. That you like are the ones that offer themselves to you. <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, man. Why don't you just try to like girls that you don't normally like? No. How do you do that? Right. What, wait, okay. Do you think that the type of girls you're physically attracted to end up with bad personalities? Or do you think that the type of girls you like have bad personalities? Not Like, is it the t- the, the physicality that you like? They tend to, you, I think you get what I'm asking, but. Uh, I don't think, I mean, I do have a type. That's for sure. But I, I think that it's more like the type of person that I, that I don't. Mm, the type of person I end up like talking to and having rapport with does not meet the same personality type that on a long term basis uh, coincides with mine. Yeah, and I, I have that trouble too, man. I think Three it's. Day dates. Well, he, well, and here's the thing, man. I think the older I got, the older I get, the less I'm willing to put up with crap. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, yeah, I'll hang out with you. We can be cool. We can even date, whatever. But like, if I'm going to be with you, like, long-term... Could you hold it together for a three-day date? A three-day date? A three-day date is long enough. In, th- in three days, you're going to know that person. You're going to know I don't think it takes them. that long. You got to, like, sleep with them, like, three times, though. Not in the sex three way. Three days. Man. Three-day date, man. Let's go. 72-hour. 72-hour. That's I a reality to, show. Let's, I let's pitch pre- that ish to... Three day date, dude, and they they have to agree. They, they same thing, dating profile, whatever. You go, but when you go on a date, you're trapped in a room with them for three yeah, days. And we could use the story from from China, dude. Yeah, see if we can make people fall in love. See how many days it takes before they sleep in the same bed, or have coitus, or hate each other. Yeah, and, I, and with three days, even if I hate you on day one, it's I'm gonna be able to survive. Yeah, like, well, yeah, because it might be some people after one day, they're like, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> Stop talking to me. This is actually a good idea. Like, day two, he hasn't taken a shower. Like, oh, come on, dude. He's, not trying, trying. he's trying to get her not to touch him. <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you doing? You're not even trying. He got, oh, you got to fart. You got to take a dump. You gotta, oh, yeah, see. You have to agree on something to order before food will be delivered oh, to you. Well, that's easy. Whatever you want. Well, I don't know. Whatever you want. Well, how about we get Chinese? No. Yep. Well, how about uh, Barbie? No. <laughs> well, what do you want? A salad? <laughs> I don't like eating in front. 
<laughs> Gotta get over all those things real quick. I'm sorry. You know what? Look, I, I hate that we're a misogynistic podcast. And we, we are not. The, and we talk about women a lot of the times, but. We are not misogynistic. Mm, 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 kind of. No. Eh, well, I respect ladies, we're not, man. We're not incels. Misogyny's okay. There's a level of misogyny. Well, we're just, I mean, I think we're just talking about tropes, man. Talking about things. Oh, we're just making a uh, social commentary. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I yeah, for sure, man. What? Nothing. <laughs> what, are you trying to say I'm something? <laughs> I'm just saying I feel a little misogynistic. All right, all right. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, once you do that, notification bell. GraceTown.com. Jonas. TNT. Ding.